My name is James Carlson. I'm the director and founder of The School Factory. We're a 13-year-old organization based in the Midwest, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in the U.S. And what we've been doing for the last 13 years is helping various communities around the U.S. form collaborative spaces. These could be maker spaces, hacker spaces, artist collaborative spaces, open science and citizen science labs, uh, all different kinds of places where people go to share, collaborate, learn, uh, build new ideas, build inventions, build businesses, make art, uh, really build fulfillment, happiness, and ideally the future public education system. That's our secret goal. Well, we know that the system of education we have today isn't necessarily serving the needs of everyone. Uh, and at the same time, we have all this amazing innovation and in technology, uh, amazing capabilities to produce objects like 3D printing and the internet and so forth. Uh, and while these things would seem to democratize the learning process and make uh, opportunities for research and participation in science and creativity open to anyone, uh, they really don't actually do that. And I think that these collaborative places are the frontier for us to create a new system where we can really be inclusive and bring almost anybody in uh, to participate in creating their own path of learning and growth. I think that in my vision of the future education system, it would be very difficult to tell the difference between a school and a not school. Uh, if you look at uh, a city as a school, uh, a village as a school, um, and you know, take away some of the concepts like uh, textbooks and tests and curriculum and so forth, uh, but do a radical alteration. Uh, we look at the purpose of school to make citizens who will be economically engaged, productive, civic participation for the good of society. And I think this is a worthy goal, but I think we now have a chance to look inward and say what makes a person fulfilled, happy, healthy, full of joy. Uh, if we design a system of learning around these principles, I think we would end up with something very different than what we have today, and we would end up with a healthier society. Because when we're happy and fulfilled, we have a surplus of energy and passion and joy that we can share with one another. We often talk about how the best teacher is also a good learner. If we can keep the spirit of the learner, of the student, of the beginner's mind inside of everyone while they go throughout their entire lives, not just from 0 to 18 or 0 to 24 or whatever our system does now, uh, we can uh, have such a great surplus of energy and creativity and other things that we will choose to solve some of the most pressing problems that we face as a civilization today um, out of a different motivation than just purely economic or you know, for the greater good. Um, the self-motivation to do this can be a very powerful force. I think even more powerful than the motivation to create a bigger abstraction like a society or a government or a nation. Well, we, we face a huge, uh, huge challenges right now. So we know our climate is getting warmer. We know we need to find new ways of generating energy. We need to solve problems related to food. We have tons of geopolitical issues and endless list of problems, right? So in order for us to solve these problems, we are going to need all hands on deck on the spaceship Earth. Every brain we've got uh, available to come up with ideas, we're going to need to get that input. I think some of the problems we face are so complex that even if you were to somehow assemble all of the best and brightest we currently have, people who have the freedom and the surplus to think on these matters, it would still not be enough. It would not be enough diversity of perspective, not enough diversity of social, cultural context for us to come up with lasting solutions. So I think the way that we are inclusive and make an invitation to anyone to participate is vital. In a lot of places, you know, we talk about, um, we make places like a fab lab, um, but most people think of a lab as a place where they go to get a test or something like that. A lab isn't a place they go to hang out. And I'm not saying anything against fab labs, I think they're fantastic, but I think the message we use, the invitation we use, the names we use have a huge impact on whether or not people who are just not aware of all this exciting stuff uh, will, will come in and join us and play with us and create with us and teach with us.